going to go to the diagnostics in the function menu, and then we're going to press controllers, three, okay, and then we're going to, this is telling you that you're not supposed to be here. <laughs> okay. I'm going to tell it one to continue. All right. Now, those are all the, all the tests, and we're just going to go down to page two first, okay. Page two on, on number five is zero memory, okay. So we're going to tell it five, and then we're going to tell it yes, and yes again. It zeroed everything, now we're going to do this three times. Okay. What's the purpose of doing it three times? To make sure it's zeroed. Okay. So it's five, yes, yes. Five, yes, yes. When it does it, it writes a pattern of ones and zeros, and then it erases, and it writes a pattern of one and zeros and erases. We want to make sure that it is erased. Whatever bug was in that in that card is what was causing this, and is also what's causing it to not boot up correctly. Okay, so we want to make sure it's gone. Now you cannot get out of this by any. It says start CNC. Okay, but all starts is all it does when you press that button is tell you you've got to go around and turn the machine off. Okay. Okay. We found in the past that it is not a good thing to press number two. When you want to get ready to, to uh, zero, the, or when you get through, through a zero in the memory or run any of the diagnostics, you just go around and turn the machine off. Okay. To hitting the button number two has the tendency of putting junk in the memory again. Oh, okay. Okay. So we're just going to go around and turn it off. Turn it off. Very nicely. Yeah. Now because we've got, we've, now because we've waited on the air, or we, because we've uh, uh, got everything disconnected, anything we try to do at this point is going to come back and tell us it's waiting on an air valve. Okay. And it's going to create. It doesn't create a problem. It just creates a wait time because it repeats and it. Re it's got to repeat like 10 or 12 times before it'll reset by itself. Okay. Okay. So we're not going to do anything. We're going to go in and, and put the, put the uh, parameters back to where they're supposed to be. Okay. Now we're going to go to enter next command. Yeah. I'm going to type in S E T P. All right. Set parameters. And it tells us there's no, no parameters or corrupted. Okay. Yes, we know that. Now, your parameters. We got one, enter, 9600, which is going to be eight. Okay, pendant, uh, and you're, it doesn't really matter what your 90, if it's 9600 or not, because you use this over here with the CD comma 10. It actually, if you look at it here, CD comma 10 is actually putting it up to 38.4 baud. Okay. That's what it's doing when you do the CD Comp 10 over there. Okay. Uh, 9600 will stay in uh, memory for you. If, you, if you, you don't ever have to do a CD Comp 7 or a CD Comp 8, it stays whatever it's set at. Okay. Okay. You cannot do a CD, you cannot do set a 10, okay, because it will default back to the 9600. Okay. You always have to do the CD Comp 10. Okay. Spindle off is uh, no X Y Z. We're gonna put A back in it, so we we'll put four. Okay. It's a forty twenty twenty. Yes. That's what it is. Okay. Pendant is mounted. That's all this is saying is your pendant's hanging here. Yes. You want G one or G zero? I mean, and uh, zero ninety to one break is is uh, M sixty. Yes. Okay. G90, which is a one also. G17, which is your breaking your corners. Uh, breaking your corners. No, G17 is your axis for interpolation, which okay. is X and Y 
X and Z, Y and Z. Uh, T17 is X and Y. Okay, uh, uh, tool changer is 21. IMM cycle is yes. RPM factor is what you have one in here. Okay, 10, 10k RPM or 10k uh, 10,000 RPM spindle. Orientation factor. We have two in there because you have you, you have an orientation problem. Right. We haven't we got we need to figure out if it's a board or if it's a if it's a, uh, the motor causing it. Alright, so you back up to there. You hit page and you go to the second page. Okay. Alright. And we're looking at inch, which is default, your yes. inch or metric. Your inch. M8 is flood, that's where you have it set. That's where everybody has it set. Three phase power is no. If you have problems with your with your um, uh, amplifiers giving you uh, errors when you're trying to jog and stuff, best thing to do is change that to yes. Okay. Okay. It'll margin the amplifiers, slows the machine down just a little bit, keeps it from having faults. Okay. Very common in buildings like this. Not having good power, uh, power that fluctuates up and down a little bit. Okay, the M96, that's your rolling your corners or intersectional. On a on a 96, it, it when you got a corner like this, okay, your tool comes out here and it breaks the corner and goes around this way. Right. Okay. The other one. It takes the corner, it takes the deal, it comes out here, moves up here, and then comes down. So uh, you've got a square corner. Okay. So you, everybody puts it on roll. It's a tiny, tiny break of the corner. Right, that's fine. Well, much faster. Yeah. Uh, 255, rigid tap is no. Uh, spindle off, yes. Always turn the spindle off when you're not when you're not working with the machine. Yes. Uh, uh, turret factor is one. That's because you know, nobody's ever set it. We'd have to set it to find out what it is. Uh, right now we'll leave this one. Command menu is space bar. Uh, pallets is no. You don't have pallets. Gain is 100. Ramps, I'm going to set at 20. Makes it a little faster on rigid on, on tapping, regular tapping cycle. Oh, okay. It, it doesn't. Right. Like this, he gets to the bottom and it ramps out. Right. Okay. Okay. When he gets to the bottom and he wants to come out, it just comes out. Okay. Aspects is supposed to be 75. Draw a circle up here with your graphics. At 65, the circle will come out egg-shaped. Oh, okay. At 75, it'll come out round. Okay. Timers are off for right now. Overloads is two. It just says it's going to have. It'll have two two counts of overload before it logs an error. Okay. Okay. Page screw type is two. It's not. It's one. Inch balls, they're inch screws. Okay. Right there. Yep. Uh, inches per minute is 400. That's maximum with, a, with an inch screw. Uh, Z tap gain is normal. One. Vector is no. It does not have a vector. Okay. Uh, axis display is load actually following error doesn't really matter because if you put it down as load it's because it's a DC machine it still will not see it as load it's just, it still displays it as following error. Okay. but to keep the to keep everything right it, it needs to be put in there okay. uh, auto brake is no I did not see an auto brake back there pallets is in a not have pallets. Five speed or five, five axis in is no. When he 
one, feedback, at speed, yes. That just says it's going to get feedback from the switches. So it's not going to do anything until it gets the signal from the switch. Okay. And at speed says it's not going to enter your part unless the spindle is at speed. Okay. And slide hold is a 10. Right now, we've got to have some backlashes in there. So we're going to put in BL, comma, 1. BL stands for backlash. backlash. Comma, 1 stands for x-axis. Okay. Okay. And then, you're, and then it'll be a comma, and you have three positions that you're going to have to take up. For L on X axis. So that's gonna, right now we're just putting in one, so I'm gonna be comma one, comma, one, comma, one. Oops. Too many commas. One, comma, one. Backlash, X axis, one, one, one. Must be a comma in between each one of them. Okay. okay. Come back and says X axis, backlash is one, one, one. Okay. Backlash, comma, DL comma two, comma one, comma one, comma one. Z axis only has one. Uh, DL comma three is Z axis and comma one. Okay. It doesn't matter what you. Now you notice it, it repeated itself each time. Yes. Right. We told it it was a five axis or four axis machine. Yes. Okay. But if you try to put in BL comma uh, four. comma four comma one, okay, it didn't repeat itself. And the reason for that is is because any time you put a fourth axis in the machine or out of the machine, you take it in or out of the program, out of the parameters, you must turn the machine off and turn it back on. For it to know that it's got a fourth axis in there. Okay. It's already set up in your parameters, so the next time we turn it off, turn it back on, it'll accept the backlash from the fourth axis. Okay. That makes sense. That's it. Now you're going to put this piece of paper back here.